aberration is the apparent change in position of other objects from their true position due to the motion of the observer. This is the motion of the observer in space. It has nothing to do with the motion of the source or the relative motion of the source and observer. In this animation, we see a photon falling vertically. A moving telescope is placed at an angle to receive the photon. The path of the photon is this. The observer sees it here. The effect is observed from Earth for distant stars and for the Sun. Stars in the North Pole seem to be moving in a circle throughout the year. In this image, the blue line indicates the true position, the red line indicates the apparent position. From Earth, the effect is only consistent with Earth's orbital velocity around the Sun. The effect is very small, about 1% the size of the full moon. It may be small, but it is noticeable. Classical theory and relativity have different formulas for explaining the effect, with relativity adjusting the formula to maintain the speed of light as constant for the observer. This chart shows the apparent position for a star at 90 degrees from the motion of the observer, as the observer's velocity increases. Notice that there is not much difference between classical theory and relativity until about 30% the speed of light. This other chart shows the apparent position of stars for an observer traveling at 90% the speed of light. The x-axis lists the real angular position with respect to the direction of travel, and the y-axis the apparent position. As Earth travels around the Sun, photons falling to Earth will cross into Earth's space bubble. The motion is similar to a puck moving between two air hockey tables that are sliding past each other. The photon will move from one field in space into another, and continue with its relative trajectory with respect to both areas of space. This is behavior that is expected of a particle. Aberration of light happens when the photon enters Earth's space, as seen in this animation. A telescope on Earth will be aimed to the direction of travel of the photon within Earth's space. There is no change in the apparent angular position if we fill the telescope with water. The twin paradox has been explained in many different ways from relativity's perspective. This is the case where one twin stays in the home planet while the other takes a trip to a nearby star at a relativistic speed. Since the twins are moving with respect to each other, which one is aging faster than the other? Which one will be younger when they come back together? Most explanations involve acceleration effects. You can find many examples elsewhere. Nobody ever talks about aberration of light effects. If we look at this chart, we'll see that for an observer moving at a relativistic speed in space of 99% the speed of light, the universe will look different than for the observer not moving. While for the stay-at-home twin, the universe will have stars in every direction, for the traveling twin, all the stars will appear to be ahead, as the image on the right shows. The traveling twin can just look out the window of the ship and will know that he is the one traveling and he is the one experiencing time dilation effects. It is illogical to claim that motion is relative when the twins see the universe differently. Aberration of light effects tell us that motion is only relative to space. Aberration of light is very rich with examples for demonstrating that motion is relative to space. Interested viewers are encouraged to investigate further as there are many more examples for this.